Have you heard of Special Purpose Acquisition Corporations? No? Then maybe you have heard of SPAC. They're the same thing. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can buy SPACs on the Giro. Greetings fellow investors and welcome to Nordic Finance. Usually it's me Marcus and Lucas here on this channel, but for today's video, I, Marcus, will have to do this solo. First, I quickly want to apologize to any viewers that happened to see our latest video on the fellow finance allocator and how it works. We took it down as the audio was completely disordered due to bad microphones and we were not able to save it, sadly. For my part, I apologize and I promise I'll redo the video on the fellow finance allocator once we have the mental energy to do so. Losing editing content release things. For today's video, we'll focus on SPACs, however. As I said earlier, the true name of these types of companies is actually Special Purpose Acquisition Corporations, but as that is quite a mouthful, I'll call them SPACs for the remainder of this video. I'll also call the company that a SPAC company wants to buy a target company. I'll explain this later. Now, before I show you how you can make those very risky investments at your own peril, I'll quickly go over what a SPAC is. But before I say anything else, I want to make it clear that SPACs are usually deemed to be quite a risky form of investing. So please, please do some due diligence before adding them to your portfolio. But here is our saver in the Wikipedia once again with a handy little definition on what a SPAC is. I'm quickly gonna read out here what it says. Special purpose acquisition company, a SPAC, is a company with no commercial operations that is formed strictly to raise capital through an initial public offering or IPO for the purpose of acquiring an existing company. Also known as blank check companies, SPACs have been around for decades. In recent years, they've become more popular attracting big name underwriters and investors, raising a record amount of IPO money in 2019. In 2020, as of the beginning of August, more than 50 SPACs have been formed in the US, which have raised some $21.5 billion. Yeah, this is for 2020 though, but the same can be said for 2021, I think. You can also pause the video here and read it in your own time if you want to. But what this basically tells us is that SPACs are a vehicle for well-known individuals or companies such as famous investors Shamath Palipathaya and Bill Ackman to raise public money, buy out an existing firm. You can think of it like you trust this SPAC founder like Bill Ackman or Shamath with your own hard-earned money to buy you a piece of an already existing company that is not being traded in, in the public markets yet. So when you invest a little of your money in Bill Ackman's SPAC, when he finds a good company to buy, you will then get shares in the company Bill Ackman bought. If you're not happy with the company Mr. Ackman chose, then you can either sell your SPAC shares, vote to have Bill Ackman choose another target company, and if enough people agree, then a new company is selected to be taken public, if that company also agrees. Or C, just accept Mr. Ackman's chosen company and then sell the target company's shares once the target company has merged with Bill Ackman's SPAC company. And in the case that poor Bill can't find a suitable company that the investor also think is a good buy, then after two years, all the money that was invested in the SPAC by the investors are returned to them. This is a super simplified way of explaining how it works, but essentially it is a way for well-known investors or influencers or even companies to take private companies public without going through the normal IPO process. Sadly, we don't have any video on IPOs on the Nordic Finance channel yet, but you can be sure it is a topic we will cover in the future. In the meantime, let us just say that IPOs or initial public offerings can be quite expensive, and it can be in everyone's interest to skip this process and take the company to the public markets in another way. I hope that clarified specs a bit, but Remember to ask us questions in the comment section of this video if we forgot something. Now there's been a lot of chatter regarding SPACs lately and they are becoming more and more common right now. Some famous SPACs include Tattooed Chef, which was taken public by Itella International, SoFi, that was taken public by Shamath Palipathaya, DraftKings, that was taken public by Harry Sloan and Illy Baker, and the Universal Music Group that was almost taken public by Bill Ackman, but this pack eventually failed. So poor Bill have to keep on looking. These are just a few examples 
and I'm sure I'm forgetting a ton of specs like Virgin Galactic I think was a spec. So if you have any more suggestions, once again, leave a comment in the comment section below. According to me and many other investors, the companies I just mentioned like DraftKings or SoFi or Tattoo Chef are quite interesting. And especially if you either trust the person or company managing the spec to take an awesome company public, you might want to invest early. If you on the other hand don't know the managing person or company of the spec, but you know which company the spec is merging with, as this is always announced, then if you love the company the spec is targeting, you might also be interested in buying a few spec shares that are then turned into shares of the company you love. As a personal example, I bought just a bit of this spec TS Innovation Acquisition Corp, which eventually turned into Latch. Because I was interested in Latch, I knew that the TS was eventually going to merge with Latch. So now I have Latch shares that I bought when they were still the SPAC stock TS Innovation Acquisition Corp. And the process was super easy. As promised, I'm going to show you how you can also get a hold of some of these SPACs that will hopefully merge with amazing companies in the near future. The process is really easy as long as you know what the name of the SPAC company is. So knowing what the company the SPAC is merging with is sadly not going to help you. But it's quite easy usually to just Google the target company and then you will find out the name of the SPAC company as well. For this video, we're going to use Bill Ackman's Pershing Square Totine Holdings Limited SPAC as an example. That wasn't my fault. They usually are the names of these companies. And I'm going to show you how you can buy shares of this SPAC on the Giro. But the process will most likely be similar for most other brokerage including Nordnet. Here I've actually logged already into the Giro. I'm sure you know how to log into the Giro by now or any other brokerage you might have. Currently we're just looking at Tesla, no particular reason. What you need to do then is say I wanted to buy Universal Music Group but I, and I knew that Bill Ackman has a SPAC that is targeting this company, then I could type in the name of this SPAC which is Pershing Square Tottenham Holdings. It's once again, these names are usually quite long and they might even be difficult to figure out. So I think the best way is that if you know the target company, try to Google it and see what comes up and what other sites suggest as the SPAC company, because you actually need this name. Just typing United Music Group, you see no results. This company, United Music Group, it is not public, so you cannot trade it on the public stock markets right now. And that's why Bill Ackman SPAC tried to take it to the public market so that other investors could also start buying shares of it. Sadly, for him, for him and investors interested in this company, the, the SPAC did not fall through. So right, the latest I read on it is that the investors might get their money back. But I'm not sure how that's actually going to go. But for the purposes of this video, if we wanted to buy shares of this pack that might turn into Universal Music Group or another company that Bill Ackman later finds, we would go to this Pershing Square Tottenheim Holdings and we would just buy it like a regular stock. So currently it's 1965, we just bought one and there we have it. And then we can buy it like any normal stock. There's no extra fees either that I have come across and the process is also super simple once the deal would fall through and this pack, this pack stock, this Pershing Square Totten, Tottenheim Holdings would eventually then be replaced with Universal Music Group. So it's quite easy in that way and if you are interested in the target company of a certain spec or you are really interested in the person managing the spec, such as Bill Ackman or Shamath, then it might be interesting to actually use this spec to either get in early what the managing person or company is targeting or a company that is currently private or not at least being traded on the public markets, but it is being traded, but it's going to be traded soon. And then you could get in early through the SPAC by buying the SPAC stock that is then going to carry over into the real stocks of that company. I know that some people did that for Tattooed Chef, so they bought it while it was still a SPAC stock. And I also did it with Latch when I bought TS Innovation Acquisitions Corp in order to then get Latch stocks. And that's basically it. It is really easy to buy most SPACs. And if the SPAC goes through and the target company is bought, 
then at least on the Giro, I got my target company, in my case Latch shares, without extra issue or cost. But before we end today, I just want to give a word of caution once again when buying SPAC. A lot of investors would classify them as quite risky investments and it is usually quite difficult to deem how the merger between the SPAC and the target company will turn out. Like we mentioned earlier, there might even be the case that there is no deal and the money is then returned to investors. At least when I bought into the latch SPACs, they were quite expensive and I have just seen a slight increase as of yet and there might be significant downside with SPAC companies, if you are not careful. If you are familiar with the target company and have done your due diligence, maybe according to our investment cycle method, then SPACs might be an interesting way to get a hold of some shares of amazing companies early. I'm going to leave you with a suggestion to check out our video on a few things you'll definitely want to avoid while investing and also our playlist on how to value stocks. Proceed with caution, my fellow investors, but as always, happy investing.